Any, any property has a particular asset value and that asset value is determined by many factors and, uh, and the asset value can be improved or deteriorated by uh, the amount of technical work that has to be uh, applied to the building. So for example, some of the items that my colleague Thomas Hare mentioned on fire protection or drinking water, these are costs that will have to be incurred and will reduce the value of the asset because there's a capex spend. Um, significantly on the upside there are opportunities to improve the asset through investments in the building that can then lead to a return of investment such as um, items that you know if for example shopping centers can be revitalized by improving the, the space making more attractive to tenants and on the technical side you can also reduce costs uh, and annual costs such as energy by investing in, in technical installations up state of the art. Yeah, a lot of buildings in Germany date from the 60s, 70s and 80s uh, for obvious reasons and a lot of those buildings are still, um, you, you have something in Germany called Bestandschutz which means um, you, it's like a grandfather policy that you can maintain the, the asset um, maturity of the building or the current status of the building better, uh, better said uh, but if you then uh, go into a refurbishment program you have to meet up-to-date modern state-of-the-art standards which is a huge investment so you have a lot of of buildings which haven't gone through that process and particularly in fire protection um, so when they there is a lot of obsolete uh, building stock in Germany there's a lot of new stock um, and the, the main challenge in Germany is how to ch change the obsolete stock and modernize it I think it's about 80% of all buildings are in this in this category so there, there's a there's a lot of potential but there's also a lot of issues in, in, the, in that type of asset